Hello, Assalamualaikum friends. Welcome back to my new tutorial of our WinCC Runtime SCADA, which is called WinCC RT SCADA. So, in this video, I am just going to show you a bar graph and uh, throw a tank. So, I am just placing a tank in the graphics. You will see. I am just uh, automation, and you will see that I am selecting a tank. And you will see that my PLC sim is running, which is connected to my factory IO sim, which is a scaling of a tank. And I am just start it running. So let's open my TA portal, and I am just uh, you will see that I am placing a tank there. So I am just selecting a tank, like that tank there. So you will see now I am selecting a bar graph from my basic elements, no elements, and selecting a bar graph. Selecting a bar graph, and now I am just setting it. So you will see I am selecting from zero to ten. Now in the appearance. You will see the four color, and I am changing it to black. And you will see the fill pattern color. I am just making it transparent. So you will see that. But I think the solid white is good, and the four color is our watered color. And then I am going to border type and decrease my border length to one. Like that. Now I'm going to scales, and I'm changing to division to ten, and I need a mark level of one, and I need an intervals of red. I think. Sorry, I'm changing it to one. So you will see that it will from zero to ten. Now I'm going to level, and. Uh, Start a one decimal from our tank level. Now I think all is good. Everything is perfect. If we are selecting a range, it's easy to select a range limit from there. But now I think everything is done. Now I'm giving him a tag, which is my set point tag in the previous videos. You see that set point. And I think our tag is done. Now I'm just compiling that like that. I think I need some more changes in the appearance, border type, skills, changing division to one. So you will see that. Now it is good. I am again saving it, compiling that. And start a runtime screen. So I am showing you my tank level. First of all, you will see that we have our PID controller, which is set point level and level error. I am forget to change. I need to make that one to level. So not a set point. So set point is done. I am just save that, and you will see that in the cyclic interrupt here I have a PID PID compact, which is a KP and also a PID formula. Now I am start a runtime screen. So first we need to change our something like a KP. I am changing it to. Like 2.0. That one is 1.0. That one is 1.0. I think I need to shut down and change that one to only output. It is input and output. Like that. And it is our error bit. Start a runtime again. 
as you can see the previous values have been loaded now i am make a tank level to 5.0 so you will see that our tank level is now going to fill and in the factory area you will see our tank is now working on this change to so that's it that's how tank and bar graph level work in our TIA portal uh, in our WinCC runtime SCADA so thank you very much for watch my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and don't forget to read the descriptions and queries if you have any queries you will contact me on whatsapp and comments if you don't understand anything and thank you very much